Hey, Troy, welcome to the project, player. <laughs> welcome to the project. Thank you very much for having me. <laughs> Now you came through uh, with gifts and everything. It's a beautiful thing. That's that deuce deuce, man. That's the deuce. Get your deuce. The, yeah, <laughs> the greatest American alive. Could you imagine if someone, if you had a hundred people give you ten percent of their income? What you what you what you trying to say? You'll feel good too? Man, I'd be so goddamn <laughs> happy. <laughs> I would drive the most craziest bins. <laughs> yeah. I would have the biggest fucking house. <laughs> True. True. <laughs> if my church had uh, 10,000 people and everyone in that church gave me 10%, if my name was Joel Osteen, if my name was Joel Negro, I had 10,000, 13,000 people give me 10% of their total income. Holy goodness, boy. I'd be a rich nigga. But the, you know, you know you ain't supposed to be spending that money on yourself. That's supposed to be in a pot. And for whatever your congregation need, then go into that pot and be like, there you go. That's that's the real tidying. Joel Osteen could buy every poor person in his congregation a house and a car. I'm sorry, you said he could? If he wanted to. If he wanted to. Hell it's yeah. It's 2022, August what? And he still haven't. So he don't want to. Yeah, he got the means to, but he don't want to. He got a hundred million dollar house. <laughs> right. So that money that's supposed to be going to the congregation. Right. It's supposed that's in this house. People pay for a service and people want to feel good. So you take some of that money. I'm not saying that you take all of that money. You just got to divide that shit up. Niggas pay for pussy. Niggas pay for church. <laughs> okay. Just on this street alone, you go down MLK, you gonna count thirteen churches. True. <laughs> True. You gonna count thirteen churches, and every like and you're gonna pay your ten percent so you can go and get that good word so you can feel, feel good. Feel good, and go back to your poor ass neighborhood. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank right. you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I'm in the same predicament. Man, but did you hear, did you hear him preach? Like I know, right? <laughs> inter entertainment is so valuable. And that pastor up there, goddamn, doing his motherfucking, and the Lord said, mm. and God said, and fire and brimstone. Man, it's a beautiful thing. I'm going I'm to bring him in, bring him in, bring him in. So that's why it's a scripture that say the, 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 the most high don't dwell in temples made with hands. Because you're the temple. He's supposed to dwell in you. Call these temples whorehouses. Because really, when you go into these these, these so-called churches, what you find in there? Some bitch with a little mini dress on, with an ass out, with a titties out, ready to get fucked. <laughs> Don't forget the gay-ass choir in there, too. So, yeah, it's a, it's a whorehouse. So, Holy. So, so you're supposed to find... <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to find who's supposed to be, you know, preaching the word the right way. You know, they, they, they them crazy people, like on the movies, the end is coming. Don't nobody pay him no mind. But guess what? The movie is about the end is coming. This might be controversial. You might disagree with this, and you might also disagree with this, but I think the homeless person is the most freest person on the planet. Definitely. What they got to worry about? Because they got that they freed themselves from shame. Mm. They freed themselves from economic bondage. They done freed themselves from all of the societal stigmas. They said, nigga, fuck you. I'm not going to participate in that shit, man. I'm a free person. I agree with that. I live off the land. Yeah, we supposed to, but guess what? This society has just been brainwashing us to live off the government. We go to, we hungry, uh, let's go to the store. No, nah, you supposed to, I'm hungry, let's go in the backyard and pick some stuff, you know what I'm saying, that we grew. I don't disagree with that, but this, this takes trades, this takes information. Since the beginning of time. Right. Since the beginning of time. <laughs> and see the credits roll up or whatever. Farmers have always known, farmers and ranchers have known when to breed their animals when to breed their livestock, mm. when to breed their pigs, based on the sun and the moon and the stars and the tides and shit. It's called the almanac. It mm -hmm. tells you when you're supposed to plant a crop. It tells you when you're supposed to mate your animals. We've known since the beginning of time that you ain't supposed to fuck your bitch bear when she's ovulating. Really, you're supposed to wait after her period to, to go into it too, because she still considered unclean but we be so horny we can't wait a week to get the pussy all you gotta do is wait one week out the month just you, you can fuck every day for three weeks that one week just don't hit the pussy mm. and you can't even hold off boy like god damn i gotta hit this hole and that and that's that's another that's another thing too now this, this is gonna probably y'all probably don't agree with this ladies fuck and em. probably some men fuck them but that's why a man's supposed to have more than one woman Oh. It's, it's an order of stuff, right? I'm not saying that the man should be out here carelessly doing what he's doing. No, we're supposed to have standard moral code about ourselves, too. However, my woman is on hers. What I'm supposed to go a, a week. Now, now, you just said that we can't even wait a few days. 
So that's why you have another woman. Oh my goodness! You know what I'm saying? You gotta have, because you gotta have more rotation, like a uh, like a rotisserie. Yeah, and, and here's the thing: rotisserie like a, a chicken, right? You rotating these bitches. Yeah, um, you know, you're ro- you're rotating these wonderful, amazing women. Women, the ones who act wonderful and amazing. Okay, let's put that out there too, because not all of y'all is wonderful and amazing. The the, the men that got baby mamas, the the chick that get with the you know the next chick that get with, she know that he got baby mamas so in a sense it's a really okay for a man to have another woman a woman gets so turned on by knowing that you are a real man and you're a real man because you show that you can reproduce so, oh my goodness that nigga he's a breeder mm. he's a breeder <laughs> that's, that's that's good stock right right oh, oh she like it i'm gonna love it you hear me yeah <laughs> and somebody told me if, a, if, a, if, a, if another woman don't want a man you know if a man is in a relationship and another woman, then what do your woman got to want you for? You know Don't no woman want a man that not another woman wants. Right. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Man, and that's, that sounds crazy. At least uh, that's probably about 100 years. We've been so off that track that we don't understand the concept of that. A man's supposed to attract. You don't tell a lion that he can't have lionist lion fuck you up but you have to be a lion though niggas, right. is, niggas is afraid to roar when i walk into the room my lady knows oh shit they want to hit this nigga and she can see it and when i come home she gonna give me the best uh, <laughs> right. she, gonna, she gonna toss it she gonna throw it to the best of her ability because she knows she's in competition with all these other bitches in heat <laughs> and the women's supposed to be in competition, not us, man. We, we, cause first of all, it's not enough of us. Hey, there's so many pussy ass, coward ass cucks in the world right now. Excuse my French. There's so many men. Man, I got three kids, and there's some man who's trying to compete with me. You can't compete with me, you big dumbo. Right. You want to raise my babies? Thank you so much for spending your money on my children. Thumbs up to you, <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker. Now I can go make three more. <laughs> right. You took the financial burden off my shoulders, and you're investing in my future. Thank you so much. Biology, your genetics determine 50% of who you're going to be, period. If I'm an alcoholic, hey, son, you an alcoholic. I'm sorry. If I like pussy, hey, son, you like pussy. It's in your blood, boy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's in your blood, man. It's babe. supposed to be in your blood, you know what I'm saying? Man, they say that, like, that's a more determinant than anything else. You take two twins and you put them in two different si- situations and they're going to be like the same people. You're like, why the fuck did I put this person in poverty and put this nigga in a rich neighborhood and they still act the same? They got the same blood. They got the same daddy. Mentality. They still have the exact same genetic traits to be the person they're supposed to be. Right. Man. Which is of you. <clears throat> and that's another thing. You are whoever your father is. Who put you inside of your mother? And just go by that. Hey, son, Project Prince, you know who I'm talking to. I's your daddy, boy. He's your daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. He's your daddy. I's your daddy, boy. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? And there ain't nothing wrong with that. Jeez. Man, it- n- men want. Men are so afraid of confrontation. When you meet them with resistance, they want to run scared to their mama and suckle on a titty. And she going to be like, it's okay, baby. You know how your daddy is? Mm. It's a generational curse. It ain't no generational curse. Like, you're trying to complain to the person who wanted to suck this meat. She made a decision to come and give me that coochie. And you're going to go try to tell her that I'm a bad guy. She's like, I love that nigga, though. Mm. <laughs> he gives the best orgasms. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> he fight right. the he fight the hardest. He <laughs> right, right. Tell the truth and get some motherfucking power, man. True that. Y'all playing some silly ass games out here. And for every man who wants to be stepdaddy, I'm, I'm glad that you want to be stepdaddy. She ain't never gonna love you like the nigga she made life with, fool. And that's on some real stuff, like for real. I'm building with Troy right now. Nigga, if I ain't got no relationship with you, I don't fuck with you, nigga. We ain't never built nothing. We ain't got no relationship. And them children are relationships. Damn. That, that's, why, that's why people be going hard for their baby mamas or baby daddies. Because it's like, even though they with somebody else, you can't break that. 
You can't break the bond of a baby, man. Nah. This is some basic, simple stuff, but it only happens in a world that's been so feminized that you think, oh, I'm going to come and do this and I'm going to come and do that. You don't understand history or biology. All you're doing is making sure that my seed is strong, mm -hmm. dummy. Right. And I know that people don't take this shit personally. And I want you Who to take cares? it personally. Who cares? I, I want you to get upset. I want you to look, at look in the mirror and ask yourself, who am I? Mm -hmm. Why am I raising another man's children? For what reason? What benefit do I get out of this? Mm. You have no genetic determinism whatsoever. <laughs> True. True. Shit. I tell, my, I tell my baby mama, I tell her all the time, I'm so glad that nigga make you feel happy. Hey, nigga, keep spoiling her. You hear me? Because as long as she's happy, I'm motherfucking terrific. Too. Right, right. Because she ain't down my back asking me for shit. Because if she wasn't happy, she'd be complaining and talking shit to me. But she come and tell me how good you do. I'm like, baby, good job. God right. damn you, you got you a good cup. Uh, <laughs> hey, he's funny. He's funny. He's funny. God damn. <laughs> We're going to cook that. today, man. We're yeah, going to cook. Definitely. The greatest American alive. <laughs> the greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.